Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Resist yourself or be taken. Dear world, it has already begun, and it started with the opening and closing ceremonies of the Olympics this year. The curtains are being lifted now with each passing day, and demonic things are appearing more prominently than ever before. In the same way, a demonic event is all set to occur, and God gave me a glimpse of what is coming through a prophetic dream I had on the night of October 22nd. Many Christians are in danger because of this one event that is coming at the end of October, and I don't know why no one is talking about it, but this is very concerning. The world is ready to celebrate another demonic day on October 31st Halloween night, but this Halloween will be different from previous ones. I will tell you ahead why and why you should not leave your house on this particular day. I saw a prophetic dream regarding this demonic day, because many people in the world, especially in America, are going to celebrate it. God boldly commanded me to warn them all, because the consequences of celebrating such a demonic day are against the will of God. So, before I tell you what I saw, I would like to ask the Holy Spirit to touch every person who comes across this message. Now. I ask that he reaches across their screens, that he prophesies through me, and that he uses me to be his voice, his hands, and his feet. Holy Spirit, I pray that you become real in this season, today, at this moment, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Now, I would like to share with you what I saw in this dream, and what God is trying to convey to all of his faithful believers. I saw myself in a place that seemed ordinary at first. It was late in the evening, and I was walking through a familiar street in my neighborhood. The sky had that strange orange glow that sometimes appears before dusk fully sets, but there was something off it was to quiet, eerily quiet, the kind of quiet that makes you aware of every little sound, every breath. As I walked, I saw homes decorated for a Halloween, but the decorations didn't feel right. It wasn't the over-the-top kind of spooky but the subtle kind of disturbing. Something about the faces on the pumpkins, the way the scarecrows seemed slouched, as if watching me, but not quite. I kept walking, feeling a growing gun is in my chest, like I was being drawn towards something. There wasn't anyone around, yet I felt eyes on me and seen, but present. The air felt heavier the closer I got to the corner of the street. I knew I shouldn't keep walking, but my feet moved, as if I had no choice. That's when I noticed a small piece of paper blowing across the pavement, stopping right by my foot. Something told me to pick it up, though I hesitated. The moment I bent down and lifted it, I saw just one phrase scrawled on it in jagged, almost frightening handwriting. It was written, resist yourself. The phrase made my heart pound, and I instinctively dropped the paper. I stood frozen for a moment, feeling like the words themselves carried some weight, like they were meant for me, but also for everyone. There was no explanation, no voice telling me what it meant, but I knew it was from God. I started walking faster, trying to shake off the feeling, but the air grew colder, like I had walked into a different place without realizing it. Suddenly, I found myself standing in front of an old house at the end of the street. It was a house I had never seen before, though the street was familiar. The windows were dark, but something inside seemed to pulse with life or maybe it was just my imagination. The door was slightly ajar, and I felt pulled toward it, against my better judgment. I stepped forward, my hand reaching out to touch the door. The door creaked open further on its own. I walked inside, and the house was dimly lit, almost as if it had been abandoned, but still held traces of someone's presence. There was no sign of anyone living there, but the furniture was untouched, almost a perfect like a scene set up for someone else to see. My heart raced as I stepped inside, every nerve on edge, yet I couldn't turn back. I felt like something was watching me from the corners of the room, just out of sight. As I walked through the hall, I saw small objects that felt out of place, a single shoe left under a chair, a mirror cracked in the corner and a flickering lamp that never seemed to fully light the room. My eyes kept being drawn to these things, like they carried a meaning I couldn't fully grasp. Then I noticed another scrap of paper 
lying on the floor by the stairs. I bent down to pick it up, and again, in the same jagged handwriting, I saw the words written, they are coming for your mind. As soon as I read that, the message immediately came into my mind, and it was clear, this time, it wasn't just a vague feeling, it was a direct warning. Something dark was coming, and it would target the mind subtle, but deadly. I stood there, trying to make sense of it, when suddenly, the light flickered again, and I heard a faint whisper. It wasn't coming from any particular direction, but it filled the room, it said. Resist or be taken. The voice was soft, but carried an overwhelming sense of urgency, like a warning from someone who had already seen the consequences. After I heard this voice, I turned toward the door, ready to leave, but I couldn't move. It was as if my feet were glued to the floor, and the air in the room became thick, pressing down on me. My mind began racing, thinking of all the people preparing for a Halloween, unaware of the spiritual danger they were inviting. I saw flashes of people laughing, dressing up, going through their usual routines, completely blind to what was coming for them something they couldn't see with their physical eyes, but could feel if they were paying attention. Just then, the temperature in the room dropped sharply, and I could see my breath in the air. Another whisper came, this time clearer. Halloween is not what they think it is the night they enter. The voice was different now, darker, more insistent. My pulse quickened, and I realized that Halloween was a doorway a night when minds would be invaded if people didn't guard themselves. The decorations, the costumes, the celebrations, it was all a distraction, a cover for something much more sinister, something spiritual, and it is all from the devil. In the dream, I knew that God was speaking to me, but he wasn't speaking through visions of fire or brimstone. It was through subtle signs, things that felt are real to ignore. And the message was simple, resist yourself, resist the temptations, resist the darkness that comes disguised as entertainment, as fun, resist the enemy's grip on your mind. The dream ended abruptly after that. I was standing outside again, at that old house, feeling the weight of what I had just seen and heard. The silence around me was stifling, and as I looked down the street, I saw more pieces of paper scattered by the wind, all with the same warning, resist, resist. Every paper was filled with this writing. So, when I woke up the next morning, I immediately knew the dream was not just for me, but it was a message for all Christians. God was showing me that this Halloween, more than ever, would be a night of spiritual attack, targeting the minds. The enemy will try to slip in unnoticed, using the cover of celebration to enter the thoughts and lives of those who let their guard down. I immediately realize that God is asking all faithful believers not to leave their houses for Halloween, because it is not what we are called to do. We are not here to worship the devil. We are here to worship our Creator. I'm sharing this dream with you not to scare you, but to wake you up. This is a call to stay vigilant, to protect your mind, and to resist the subtle pull of the enemy, especially on Halloween night. God has given us all the power to resist, but it requires awareness, knowledge, and the word of God. Dear world, resist yourself or be taken. The devil is luring, waiting for an open door, and this Halloween would be a prime opportunity for him. But we have the power through Christ to stand firm, to close the door, and to guard our minds from invasion. In Jesus' name, I pray for strength, awareness, and discernment over every person reading this message. Father, I ask that you fill their hearts and minds with wisdom, so they can recognize the schemes of the enemy as they draw closer to this moment. Lord, help them to resist the temptations and distractions that the world presents, especially in this season, where darkness tries to disguise itself as harmless. Open their eyes, Lord, to see beyond the surface, to understand the spiritual danger that lies in celebrating this day dedicated to demons. I pray that every believer will stand firm in the truth of your word. Let them be steadfast in their faith, knowing that you are their protector and shield. Remind them, Holy Spirit, that we are called to worship our Creator, the one who loves us 
not the one who seeks to destroy us. In this hour, let them choose the narrow path that leads to life, rejecting the deceptive allure of what seems like fun but is, in reality, an invitation to the enemy. May they resist the devil as your word promises, and may the enemy flee from them. Lord, I pray that this warning resonates deeply within the hearts of every person who reads it. I pray that they will no longer be deceived by the world's portrayal of Halloween as innocent entertainment, but instead, they will see the truth. It is a day when darkness tries to claim territory in their lives. Lord, let their spiritual eyes be opened, so they may understand that participation in this celebration gives the devil an opening, a foothold into their homes, their minds and their families. I ask, Father, that you cover them with your holy protection, that you guard their minds from the subtle deceptions of the enemy. I ask that you break the chains of ignorance, complacency and spiritual blindness. Lord, let the people of this world understand that by turning away from this day, they are declaring their allegiance to you, the one true God. They are choosing life, choosing righteousness and choosing the path that leads to eternal protection and peace. Holy Spirit, guide them in this season. Speak to them in whispers, reminding them to resist the devil and to draw closer to you. Let your light shine brightly in their lives, so they may know that what you offer is far more fulfilling than anything the enemy could provide. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare that the strongholds of the enemy are broken, and every person reading this will walk in the truth. Resist the devil and stand firm in the victory that has already been won by Christ on the cross. Amen.